Hello, we are Slim Shady and the Maltesers and we present to you the random gem packing of M&M's. In our experiment we determine the random gem packing density of ellipsoids, in our case M&M's. Here you see us measuring the weight of a single M&M. And now you see us measuring the size of one. We proceed to fill up a spherical container with M&M's and weigh how many fit inside them. We determined the volume of the average M&M to be 0.64 milliliters and its mass to be 0.88 grams. The radius of our spherical container is 6 cm. From this radius we calculated the volume to be 904 cubic centimeters. Our container, however, has some imperfections. After correcting for these imperfections, the volume is 891 cubic centimeters. Now we have the volume, but we still need to calculate the amount of M&Ms inside the orb. By weighing the filled container and dividing by the average weight of the M&M, we determined that the orb contains 904.2 M&Ms. As such, the total volume of all the M&Ms in the container is 579.3 cubic centimeters. By dividing this combined M&M volume by the volume of the container, we calculated the packing density to be 65%. We replicated this experiment with Maltesers to compare the random packing of ellipsoids to spheres. Here you can see us measuring the size and weight of Maltesers. We use the same orb to contain the Maltesers. A single Malteser weighs 2.24 grams and has a volume of 3 cubic centimeters. The volume of the orb is still 891.2 cubic centimeters. The collective mass of all the Maltesers is 388.3 grams, which means there are 173.3 Maltesers in the container. These Maltesers have a total volume of 520 cubic centimeters with a packing density of 58%. M&Ms clearly have a higher packing density than the spheres, but why? The theory of this experiment follows a 2004 science article by Alexander Donov and his team. The shape of an object changed to the amount of different degrees of freedom, which is called F. In the case of a Malteser, the number of degrees of freedom is 3, and an M&M has 5 degrees of freedom. The number of degrees of freedom increases the different ways an object can move, which in turn increases the amount of contact points a single object has. In the case of a low friction environment, the amount of contact points, which is called Z, is twice the degrees of freedom. Donov's team simulated both the amount of contact points and the packing densities for different aspect ratios. The data is shown in the graphs on the left. As you can see, with a spherical aspect ratio of 1, you get the expected 64% gem packing, and in the case of the aspect ratio of M&Ms, this leads to a packing density of 71%. Our experiment was clearly suboptimal, as we didn't get close to these values. A bigger and more spherical container could have given a better result. However, we did show that ellipsoids pack more densely than spheres in a random gem packing.